the plan was to mow down here where we cleared all this out in December uh, or November we brush hogged all this and I would like to start mowing um, but it's just it rained so much this past week and Thursday and Friday was just ridiculous I mean they got more rain here than we got at home but down here I mean I have places with standing water uh, so I can't do anything yet and now we're supposed to get very little rain this coming week and if that's the case then I'll be able to mow next weekend I want to get back in there if I can't get the brush hog in there if I can get all that mowed down an area mowed I can start the cabin build back there and I'll be happy if I just get it mowed I can we need our brush hog around it later uh, I just want to get the cabin going I will show you my spring my toy I've been playing with I took the lid off the bucket and hopefully you can see how clear that water has become now it's still very mushy around here uh, it's still coming up but you can see a hole there or two or three or four where it's bubbling up from underground um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not I'll try but it just keeps coming up and filling up my catch area down there I mean, you can see how clear that is as well uh, I've just got tennis shoes on so I'm not gonna try to get down in there but look at how clear that is now from this last week just amazing and my mud hole here has cleared all up that's the one that's going to the white pipe that has the black hose on it and it's still same amount of water coming out of it so these things are still working uh, I don't know if they dry up in the summer or not I we have never seen these before this area back here people ask on every video uh, we just brush hogged back here in November so it's the first time we've seen this area back here and we've walked back here a lot over the four years and it's always been real mushy in this area uh, any time of the month I don't know if that means it runs year round or what the deal is but it's always been wet back here so hopefully that means it runs all year but this summer we will find out I just love how clear it is I'm gonna have to follow it down there wherever it goes <laughs> But that's the spring so now I'll take you up and show you what I mowed about three hours on that craftsman get a lot done but the first thing I want to show you you guys that have been following us especially since we started clearing down here the giant brush pile has been up here that <laughs> again it's been too wet to come out here and burn uh, boy Gail came out here today and just literally kicked ass and got all of that burned cleared it all out so all we've got left from the initial clearing over there is what's on the side of the barn and she'll work on that next weekend but I was up mowing and I came back here and I couldn't believe she got all that done Man, we worked today I mean it's Sunday April 9th 
and a beautiful day in the mid 70s I'd say uh, but finally a day we could come out and work and accomplish something because I'm telling you it looks so good when it's mowed and I got most of it done there's still a spot in front of the where the original cabin was that I had to take out uh, where we dug all those cherry trees out so that's still kind of swampy because I have to fill it in but every place else I was able to mow before it gets out of hand and believe me it gets out of hand quick around here but it just looks awesome all mowed walk up here and I need the brush hog because this clearly shows our property line and it goes straight back but I got to get that with that brush hog in order to continue the straight line all the way to the road so that's all mine up there I know it doesn't look like it and from back here I mean the difference with all that cleared from the last three years of video it looked like our property ended there <laughs> but uh, it's looking great looks awesome But I was able to get up in here uh, except for that area right there Gail's resting and watching her birds I know you would uh, but that's it we got a lot mowed and Gail got everything burned back there. I'm still amazed by that. Now we got to go get some dinner. Wow. Just love it out here. Even working, it's gorgeous out here. I got a lot of this done. Well, you got to what part? By the, up there, on the other side. Oh, I got to clean, clean all that up. I want to take the push mower up there. Uh, oh, are they fighting? My husband, they were up there at the sewer. <laughs> Looked like they were fighting each other. But Gail brought out new suet, new you know fed. Filled up all the bird feeders. Man. Walking around doing these updates there, you remember how big this property is. How big just what we've cleared is. But we love it. practicing walking around with a camera and trying not to bounce it too much and when I walk downhill or step in holes it's gonna bounce a little bit but I noticed it does this a lot uh, so I'm trying to get a little bit better control of it while I'm walking around talking it's difficult enough for me to do three two things 
at once, walking and talking. But now we've got the camera thrown in. That's three things. I don't know if I can do it. But yeah, we're all mowed. Holy crap. Except for this junk here. And here we go, clearing all that, <laughs> so we have more to mow when we come out. But that's it, that's my little update of our first mowing this year. We will uh, be back out here next weekend. I might sneak a day out here and uh, clean up the front area up there. mode but it's supposed to be dry most of the week and dry next weekend so gosh we hope so but this is Joe out here at St. Bernard Acres we're out <laughs>